All right, this right here, this piece, is your cylinder. Always inspect that to make sure you're not leaking brake fluid out of it. If you already need to replace that, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This one and the other side weren't leaking anything. We're good to go there. I'm going to continue putting this back together. All right. Also, got a groove down here in the bottom. The bottom of this shoe fits. The groove up here, that one fits into. Take your new pin, shove it through the back. And then there's an elongated slotted hole right here. Then put that pin through it. New spring, I like to put the nut in first. Make it a little easier on me. Oh, get up there. Then hold it with your thumb, get your handy dandy tool. Go ahead, push it on. Just like that. We are on there. It's held in place, good to go right there. Now how this works is it just pushes out. It'll apply pressure outwards like that. That's how that cylinder works. I'm going to go ahead and kind of put these springs in now. So I've got to try to do it after I put this other shoe on. I'm also going to set this guy in here like so. Fits in that groove. The groove I'm talking about, let me see here. There's this groove right here. There's one on each side of the shoe, that groove. That slack adjuster to fit in. Slack gesture in that groove, so we're good to go there. Okay. All right, get our other new pen, shove through the L hole. spring with a nut, put it right there, every tool, again, should be wearing safety glasses, should always wear your safety glasses, okay, now, I just don't see the right way. Might be having to adjust this star wheel out. All right, let's get the spring on and we'll go from there. Put this piece on. Get our spring up here. We're gonna grab the spring pliers. Use my little hook like that. And go ahead and just come on out. There it is. Tighten that up. Should be good there. Now we're going to get this bottom spring connected. Ok, 
Come on. It's like right there. There it goes, I think. You punk. Get in your spot. <laughs> There it is. All right, we're all back together. It's as simple as that. Now you just put your drum back on after, you know, check your adjustment here, make sure you're good where it needs to be. Make sure everything's sitting right in its grooves here and down here. Put your new drum on and uh, put your tires back on and torque them down to proper specifications. I'll show you what a new drum is supposed to look like. Here's the new. Pretty. Not pretty. What you want is no good. A couple more things I want to mention. After you get it all reassembled like this, you really want to double check everything. Look at the pictures you took in the beginning. Always take pictures before doing a job. Make sure your spring is in the right place. Make sure this arm here is correct. See your slack adjuster right here. There's actually two notches on the slack adjuster on one side. One notch is the bigger one, goes into the, the shoe goes into it. The other notch is that little arm goes into it. That will actually turn your slack adjuster to tighten it up over time. That's so as your brakes wear, you know, so where it'll keep it against the drum. One thing you might need to do when putting your drums back on is loosening that slack adjuster up a little bit, just so it fits. Real quick on adjusting these. Your slack adjuster, the star wheel, right in there, right there. How that operates, every time you back up, it'll kind of tighten up a little bit to um, automatically adjust, automatic slack adjuster. That's what that little arm is. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna try putting your drum on. And if it goes on, well, then you're gonna wanna push it on all the way and see if you got a slight drag. If it's super loose, well, you might wanna go ahead and tighten it up. If it won't go on, loosen it up just enough to where it'll slide on, and then you adjust from there. Tighten it up, whatever. All right, let's go and do that. There's a plug on the back side here. Remove that plug. That'll help you uh, tighten it up. Here's your little tool you can use. You can use a flathead screwdriver probably. But this little guy's great. The wheel on here, it's designed where it's got teeth where it'll kind of ratchet. To where meaning it'll tighten up but not let it loosen up. So that's what this not so angled part is for. You can get in here and get down below and just kind of roll that wheel forward and that'll go ahead and start loosening it, it up which is springs will in turn go ahead and pull your shoes closer together now since i put brand new shoes on here i know i'm gonna have to loosen this up and bring the wheels closer together to get that drum to fit whoop actually hit my stand Here's how thin these old ones were. And if you can see it here, there's a crack. So this was bad, really bad. Let's see if I can show you the, the two here. New and old. The old one's really cruddy. The new one ought to go for quite a long time. One thing also, make sure your, your cylinder is centered when you're putting these on. That way you're not... Too far one way or the other. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Still won't go on. Therefore, I need to keep loosening this. And you'll kind of watch it. You can see it on the adjuster. It'll start going in.
Now, before I go ahead and call it good and bolt the tire back on and torque that, I will clean these surfaces off with some breaking parts cleaner. You do not want oil or grease or anything inside there. After, before, after you clean it all off, put this on. Put your little plugs back in. If you took them both out, put them both back in. You don't want water and dirt and crap to get in there either. I think we're probably good now. You can probably loosen it up here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna loosen it up here. Like I said earlier, Harbor Freight. You can buy these little tools. It comes as a package. So you get all three of them handy dandy tools. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna clean these off, put the tire rack on, torque the lugs. We'll be good to go. Catch y'all later.